we use these uh, super telescopes, right? Like Hubble and all of that to you just stare deep, deep into uh, the universe, you know, farther and farther away. And, uh, you know, half of that stuff that we're looking at, I mean, it doesn't even exist anymore, right? I mean, we're just now receiving the light from many of these stars have long supernova and, and no longer exist, you know? So it, it, it does raise the question, okay, if we're talking about life on other planets or other civilizations, are they just gone? I mean, we're, we're just... What we're what we're viewing is literally just the light, just now, you know, making it to Earth. That in itself, and mind bending, mind bending. Yeah, and and, and 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 we're basing our decisions like you know off of the light that's just now hitting us, right? And we're like, oh look, you know, say we did discover a civilization on a planet, right, through our telescopes. Well, how many? millions and millions of, of of years in the past are we looking that civilization could long be dead and gone right so even if we were to discover life elsewhere who's to say that it it in this you know currently at this particular moment that it even still exists so it is it, it is kind of mind warping I mean, yeah no, what if what if what if we are the only one uh, see, we like I, the what you know, ifs it, we like the what you, you, you noticed earlier i didn't say impossible a mathematical impossibility i said a mathematical improbability yeah so i mean the, the the door is always open there, but I would say ninety nine point nine percent. I'm I'm pretty sure there's other life out there, and it's it it the whole universe is probably teeming with life. Uh, just our galaxy is teeming with life. Like we're we're not even taking into account the other galaxies. Uh, you know, there's billions and billions of stars within the Milky Way, and the Milky Way itself is what three hundred and eighty billion light years across. So there's a lot going on just within just within our own little little spiral galaxy just here. Just when you so, said uh, that there that, 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 I mean the way you said that I don't know why, but that's a that's a fairly sizable chunk there, folks. The chances of us ever discovering Everything that's in our own galaxy is pretty much an impossibility, let alone the other billions of galaxies that are out there. But just to kind of um, give a couple of paragraphs here from one of the stories marking this historic event. It says, Perseverance has landed. Mars rover begins a new era of exploration. Um, NASA's latest mission to the Red Planet will seek out signs of ancient life, rather samples or gather samples for return to earth and even fly a first of its kind interplanetary yeah, helicopter that's what I was, yeah we're gonna we're gonna be flying we're gonna be flying a drone on mars man it's and cool, it'll be it? another historic thing it'll be the first uh powered flight on another planet you know for for humans to that we know of yeah, but that we know. Apart from when we moved from Mars I mean, in the first place, right? I mean, besides all the UFOs flying around over, you know, South America and all of that stuff, uh, we'll, we'll just we'll put that to the side for now. We'll 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 we'll, we'll say that we're going to be the first ones to be flying stuff around on a, on another planet. But but it's easier. <laughs> Humanity's on again, off again exploration of Mars has lived through its latest make or break moment. And scientists around the world are breathing sighs of relief. Shortly after 3.44 p.m. Come on, all you gematrists, get the, get the calculators uh, uh, uh. out. Hey, it would have been much better if it was 3.22 p.m. Or 4.44, just some kind of recurring number all the way. We could have got some good woo, you know? Yep, yep, definitely. So a visitor from Earth fell from a clear, cold Martian sky into a 3.5 billion year old 50 kilometer wide bowl of rock, dust, and volcanic ash called Jezero Crater that once held a large lake. Seven minutes earlier, it had touched the top of the planet's atmosphere at approximately, get this folks, 20,000 kilometers per hour. 
bleeding Woo! off most of its Still speed. moving. That's, that's a rate of knots. Um, it slowed yeah. down using the atmosphere and it protected from the resulting fireball by a heat shield. Now, a supersonic parachute the size of a Little League baseball field unfurled to slow it further, followed by a final computer-piloted descent on a robotic jetpack called a sky crane. Which Dude, is, that oh, thing. I know. <laughs> Brilliant. <The> sky crane. <laughs> you know, just like how it lowered it down, but then it's got these like rocket thrusters that are like holding it above the rover. Oh, dude. It's tremendous, so isn't it? We're, hey, sci-fi world, man. You know, Martian we're, we're... social media is going crazy right now with the reports of a UFO touching down somewhere on the planet, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, the, uh, the, 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 the cave dwellers in, in Mars were like peeking up and they saw this jetpack thing coming down. And they're like, holy crap. Holy Maybe, crap. Right, here right. you go, Scott. How about this, right? They're drawing paintings on the cave walls of this thing coming down that Musk and his explorers are going to find in a few years w when they take to Ooh. yeah although you know i look at this thing touching down on mars right and i wonder if musk can incorporate any of this technology into that big phallic shaped starship <laughs> that he has because i mean it's cool it looks great but i'm fed up seeing it going flopsy and, and crashing dude we need something with this right Hey, you know, you you, you, you got to break a few eggs if you want to make an omelet, right? And and that's the whole uh, mindset of SpaceX. Like, they're willing to blow stuff up in order to... That's how you learn. That's how you learn, you know, what, what fails and what works. And they're just burning through... They're just burning through prototype after prototype to see... To essentially, you know, filter out... The, the issues and get to the one that finally the refined sort of uh, design. And so I remember back when SpaceX was first starting and people used to laugh at him. Oh, ha ha ha. Their rocket blew up. And Elon always, he embraced it, you know, and he's like, he always went on social media and was like, this is how not to land a rocket, right? And then he shows the thing blow it up in a montage of like all of the Falcon explosions and all that. Well, who's laughing now? Because how many successful missions have we had without any sort of failure or anything like that? Uh, and these things are landing vertically and performing amazing maneuvers that NASA only wished that they could do, you know? And so, I mean, is Elon looking at this? Uh, I He's probably, I'm sure he's very interested and he's looking at what they're doing, but I think, mean, you know, Elon's got his own plans, you know what I mean? Like what NASA's, he's like, oh, that's nice. That's cute, NASA. But, you know, when, once we get up there, we're going to show, show you how the real men handle business would on you Mars. Would you, you Scott, would, you, would you do it if you got the chance? Would you go? I mean, like. Yeah. I yeah. would. Yeah. I'd go. I would. I would totally go. I mean, Even uh, I would despite the risks, I would still take it. Yep. Yeah, I would not turn down that. I would not turn down that opportunity. Uh, opportunity to be one of the first humans to to land and set foot on another planet. I mean, I think that's a mind blowing, historic kind of deal to to be part of that initial group of pioneers. Who, pioneers, yeah. To, yeah. You know, it's no different than you know the 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 first people who were like, hey. We're just going to start going west and see what we run into. You know, you don't need no maps, no nothing. I like you don't, how you, you kept know. that open there, the first group. You didn't narrow it down to Columbus or any oh. ridiculous stuff like that. I like see, it, dude. I like it. You, you like my, my, my lingual uh, logistics that I, yep. I go through? I'm, I'm very, very aware of what... Very careful work. in what you say. Yes. I like it. I like it. You have the to be. trolls you have must to be. hate yeah. it. They can't pick apart anything, Mr. Lopez says. No, mm -hmm. no, no. So listen, folks, <laughs> we are on Mars, and I I appreciate it. There may be some people listening right now who think it's all fake, but as you can tell, me and Scott are quite on board with this, and whatever your take is on it, you know, that's fine by me. It's fine by us. Whether you believe it, whether you don't believe it, in the end of the day, it's not something that's going to be critical to us moving forward in our day-to-day -day lives from I, one day to I the just, next, you know? I just like the idea of human exploration. Same here, dude. Yeah. That, that that you know we're 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 curious we're a curious species we we want to figure stuff out we want to try and 
understand as much as we possibly can and you know it leads to stuff like this where we we push ourselves to the absolute bleeding edge of what we're capable of doing and hey look we've got a we have a uh a rover another rover on mars now and we're going to be flying a drone up there and it's just it's crazy to 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 think about you know and, sci-fi hey. world is here scotty well, well, sci-fi world's here and after the break we're going to take you in to some increasingly crazy science news i've got some stories here i know the big man scotty is going to absolutely love i hope you love them out there as well remember to hit share right now go over to social media Facebook, Twitter, whatever you use. If you're on Parlor, even throw it in there. The echo chamber it is. But hey, the more the merrier. Send out the link. We'll be back in three minutes. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> 